Oh! Is that you? The game is doing it. Holy fuck, dude. Oh man, this is gonna fuck. Spinning me. eyeballs everywhere. There's a hole in the wall. Oh, no, go around the corner from the bathroom. Yeah, or, and then there should be a hole in the wall. Yeah, you gotta look through from the other side. No, go, go down the corner and turn to your right, right here. There should be a hole in the wall somewhere. It's right here. Wait, where's that thing hanging from? 
way. So this is like supposed to be the end of the hallway, right? Okay, so go here. Start here. Turn here. Stop the here. The bathroom should be like is right there, here. Is there, yeah. yeah. Is there a hole right here somewhere? Go back up. Yeah. But I'm assuming too close to the wall there. It'll be at eye level. Right. See what I see. <laughs> well, you're like, <laughs> like I can't. I don't actually get a chance I'm to look to around. That's making it all blurry. Oh, oh stop! There right it is. You don't actually get to see anything, you just hear what actually happened. Oh, this supposed to be like in the tub. No, keep going. You gotta watch the whole thing. Watch. Yeah. There's nothing to watch. Yeah, watch the whole thing. Yeah, you gotta listen to the whole thing. Oh, all right. It's a survival horror game. Him, like he's dragging a body in there. In a heartbeat. Because he's gonna rip the baby out of her. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck this place. He's not running fast now. Are you supposed to be the guy that did it, I bet? What? I, uh, I don't know. Like I because said, I never released the they game. They never released the game, so... No, so no, I meant like, questions. remember we skipped school one day and you came home and we just, you like, destroyed all of Silent Hill 2? No, it was Metal Gear Solid 2. And we also did Silent Hill 2. Did we? Yeah. Um, I love that game, though. So. Oh. But Metal Gear, I would never, I would never skipping flashlight. school to play Metal Gear Solid 2 with you. Right. And we basically beat, from the beginning to end, running around with Raiden and Hulk. Yeah, I would never being super pissed. Fine. No, it's fine. I just remember being super pissed that it was Raiden. Dude, was yeah, like, yeah. The demo for the game that came had the tanker, was the and it's just the opening level. <laughs> because, in retrospective, it's actually not that bad. It's just. <laughs> oh, oh you saw you're gonna die. The game's trying to kill you, bro. What the fuck? It's not. I think it's maybe you're in your between. That's supposed to happen. Keep going, just keep going. It's gonna glitch out, and then it's gonna go into the trailer. I think because the, the controller's old and he's between the PlayStation and the controller. Oh, try to exit. No, don't you. Oh, oh, he's oh, at the oh, end. Oh, exit, okay. No, that didn't work. Yeah, it's supposed to happen. You reached the end of the demo, essentially. And that's what it kept saying every time we went through the door. Is it? I don't know, go to the bathroom. Take a big shit. Take a big shit. Why is the bathroom dark? Is that water dripping on the side of the door? Supposed to do that. Okay. Like, damn, man, this jailbreak's really no, fucked up. Like, like he says, ich rufe später an, and all those words, just I'll call you back later. Oh, really? That's what it constantly says in different languages. Right, I've seen it. So, here's your official trailer, you ready? And this. Hey, isn't that what the brown bag said to you? It's all. Yeah, I got some. 
underground bag room again. Started over? Maybe it's Norman Reed's nuts in the fucking bag. <laughs> no, it shouldn't have started over. It should have played the trailer. Well, this isn't how the game starts, though. So don't start off with this room. Well, maybe you didn't, like, get everything, so that's why I didn't do the trailer. Oh. didn't start over, it wasn't dark when you started. Right. Oh wait, look at the painting on your right, right here, this eyeball, right? And I think that stuff that's, it's like words, and I think I did it when I activated the first time. I don't know what's happening, so... <laughs> We're in uncharted territory. I don't know why the light is yellow. Right. Oh my god. Let's go through the door and see what happens. <clears throat> One more time. Oh, the light's green. Should have made Anthony play uh, Resident Evil 7. Fuck that. I love that beginning with Maya when she comes running at you with that fucking knife out of nowhere up oh, the stairs. Oh, we played that, what, like a couple of Halloweens or birthdays ago? Yeah, probably. <laughs> when it just came out, you just picked it up. Like when you walk through some the creepy the farmhouse. Some of the new DLC campaigns were pretty fucking good. Right, the old lady sitting there, like every time you go by her, one time she grabs you and shit. Like, okay, so now it's red. It was, what, I yellow, know, green? What's going on, now bro? It's but I, it's scary. The door is open, so I don't care if we're going through it. Kyle, give us your best scary face. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not looking at you yet. Do it. Do it. <laughs> now it's just normal. And now we we're back to 2359. There's a clock at a lot. Maybe you should have looked at it. Me and my brother, uh, we did a horror night where we played uh, we played Alien Isolation. I mm. fucking love that game. Dude, <laughs> there's this part where we were fucking running away from the alien, and my brother goes into this bed and he's like, we're safe. Starts moving, the fucking alien dropped out in front of us. Both me and him fucking screamed. <laughs> it was the funniest shit in the world. I've never screamed at something before, so I was like super surprised by my reaction by it. Jesus. To me, the the scariest moment, because I didn't pay attention, I was walking down, I got into the control room, and I turn around and a fucking uh, android grabs me by the throat and tries to start strangling me. And I'm like, where the fuck did this motherfucker come from? You know? Okay. And it's like the third time now I come to the room and nothing has really changed. You gotta start looking at some of the paintings and stuff. There might be like a, one of those pieces of paper in the paintings, I think right above the, where the, the plant, the, the, the alarm clock is. Why is it smoke? Foggy? Yeah, right. It's Silent Hill, bro. Yeah, it's changing. Oh, it's got to be the paintings right by the by the alarm clock. I know there's one that you missed there. Like there's a, a numbers written into. Oh yeah, see, okay, you see the painting with the pieces missing. You gotta stare at the one with the pieces, with the pieces missing. The pieces you've been collecting go on there. Oh. See? Okay. So you gotta look around for the pieces now, though. Like, check the floors, check, I think, there's one on this nightstand, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there you go, you picked another one up. Yeah. Would you think you broke it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll stare at the painting or the picture again, the broken picture, and put it on there. See it? Yeah. It 
So you're missing three pieces. Why the church bells are ringing now? Church bells are ringing. Hey, creepy baby. Fetus. Fetus and meet us. Something. Oh, oh, no, I'm just like randomly checking. <laughs> just randomly checking spots. Like. Uh, I don't know, right there's something.